So you're sitting in your accounting class, and your teacher starts using these terms debits and credits in relation to um, certain transactions that they're recording. Well, let's first make sure you know what a debit and a credit is. A debit simply means that you've recorded something on the left-hand side. So, for example, if we're talking about an asset, and I debit an asset, that means you recorded a left-handed entry on the asset account. Later on, you'll learn that that left-handed entry means it increases the asset. Now, if you recorded a left-handed entry to capital contributions, that means you have fewer capital contributions. You've reduced them. Or if you record a left-handed entry in revenues, that means you reverse some revenues. You've reduced revenues. But if you record a left-handed entry on expenses, that means you have more expenses. Now, be careful. When you have more expenses, your net income goes down. Why? Because revenues minus these more expenses cause net income to go down. All right, so it's always kind of funny to me when people say, oh, yeah, I took accounting, but I could never figure out debits and credits. Well, all you need to figure out about a debit is that it means the word left. Now, naturally, you'll need to know how you apply this concept, but when they say, tell me they couldn't figure out what a debit or credit was, it's just another word for left. And the word credit is just another word for right. That's all you need to know. It means that you're recording something on the right-hand side. So as you can see, if you record something on the right-hand side of an asset account, it means something different than if you record something on the right-hand side of a liability account. Okay, that's when it makes the difference. Simply the word debit is just like another, it's just like another language. We always say that accounting is the language of business. Well, if it is a language, then that means we have new words for things that you're used to. Now, if we were speaking German, we would use the word links for left. Or if we were speaking French, we would say a gauche. Or if we're speaking Spanish, we'd say izquierda or whatever. The point is, it just means left. Once you know whether it's left or right, then you go to the account and you say, okay, what does that mean for this account? Let's just give an example. Let's say we have cash and we record a debit of $500. And we have, uh, let's say, notes payable. And we record a, uh, let's say, a credit of $500. Okay. Now, obviously, this is the left and this is the right debit credit. I just put in the word debit credit so you can see that. Well, if we were to record a debit to cash of $500, that means we have more assets called cash, $500. And if we record a credit to liabilities, that means we have more liability of $500. And as you can see, our balance sheet equation here stays in balance. Assets went up $500, liabilities went up $500. Okay, now here's what you need to remember. You need to remember which accounts are increased on the left and which ones are increased on the right. Okay, here's an easy way to remember. Learn the balance sheet equation. And by now, you should have already learned the balance sheet equation. Assets are equal to liabilities and equity. That means your assets have been funded through your debt financing, liabilities, plus your equity financing, equity. Okay, in other words, how did you get these assets? You got them by borrowing or having investors contribute or earning that equity. Okay, and equity is usually made up of your capital contributions and your retained earnings. And retained earnings usually comes from your net income minus your dividends. And net income comes from revenues minus expenses. Okay, assets are on the left of the equal. Therefore, we increase assets on the left, or in other words, the debit side. Just remember that. Assets are on the left. We call it the balance sheet equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Therefore, assets are on the left. They are therefore debited to increase them. However, liabilities and equity are on the right-hand side of the balance sheet equation. Therefore, you increase liabilities and equity on the right. So all these other accounts that work like equity, they are increased on the right. Now, having said that, you got to watch out for dividends because if you have more dividends, you reduce equity. So dividends and expenses, they're kind of like opposite equity accounts. So their rules are exactly opposite equity because as you have more, you have more of these dividends and expenses, you have less equity. Hope that helps. Aloha.